What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly disable auto updates for all of your games or individual games on Steam from scratch using the Steam client or launcher. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple and assuming that you guys already have your Steam client open like I do right here, uh, the idea is you would want to navigate to your games library. And to do so, you'd want to hover over library which is this one right here, click on home, and it should take you to this page right here with all of your registered games under your account. And the idea here is if you want to configure the auto update settings for your games, um, the way to do it would be to right click on the specific game that you would want to disable auto updates for, like so. And I should mention that um, every time you guys install a game on Steam or download it or reinstall it, um, this is actually set to default to auto download any updates that may come for the game in future patches. So to show you what I mean, if I were to right click on Tekken 8, for example, click on properties like so, you'll see that under the updates tab, um, automatic updates says always keep this game up to date. So by default, this is actually, um, this is enabled. This is always enabled. So to disable it, what you guys would need to do, like I said, let's start from scratch, is to right click on the game that you would want to disable the auto updates for, hit properties, and uh, this new window will pop up. And from here, you want to select updates. And then from the automatic update section, there should be a drop down with a bunch of different options to choose from. So um, you want to click on only update this game when I launch it. So what's going to happen is um, it will actually disable auto updates. So only, every time you boot up the game, that's the only time it will update. And that's honestly all there is to it. So yeah, that's a video. So hopefully it helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support to that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So yeah, uh, with all of that said, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.